Not Dead Gamer. Hello and welcome back to another vloggy type thing. I'm Robbie Undead Gamer and I'm sorry that there was no content Friday and Saturday just gone. I did intend for there to be content, except sadly that didn't obviously happen. Um, I, I'd sort of, I've been working full time, like again, uh, for the last, sort of last week and this, this coming week as well I'll be doing precisely the same. So there was like no time to do things. Also, if you remember in a previous vlog, I needed to do some catch-up work for university and in the form of an essay, which has now been done. It's been, it was done last week and it's been submitted, so that's all out of the way, you know, that was like my primary focus. But I did intend to do stuff on like editing and making video content on Thursday and Friday, but it didn't happen. I was like far too tired from the week and the, the working and all that sort of business. So I apologize, but I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of talk about what what I was doing that week because it was a it was a hectic, fun, awesome, awesome week to kickstart that week. Last weekend, not not the not the weekend just gone, but the weekend before that, I was LARPing. I went zombie LARPing. Hence, while you're watching Dead Island, which I will state the gameplay is probably terrible, and I'm not gonna take any blame for this because the game is glitchy as fuck. The game's horrendously made. So, blame Deep Silver. Damn you, guys. Make it. A, a vo oh my god, the voice is terrible. 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 I didn't enjoy recording this for you, but the, see, the, see the struggle, the, the, the sacrifice I made. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anyway, so, zombie LARPing. Myself. Uh, Josh, Singularity Josh and Minty Lamb, we, we all went uh, with a big group of us and it was amazing. It was so good, so hectic, so tense. It was a zombie, it was a zombie LARP, but it was like, it was a LARP that was like 24 hours sort of constantly running. So we, from Friday till the game ended on Sunday, we were like in character for the whole time. So there was like zombie attacks in the middle of the night and scary shenanigans happened and it was all crazy. It was crazy, but it was real good fun. Really awesome to sort of play a slightly different zombie LARP than what I normally play. Cause I've obviously I've normally played like fantasy LARP and I've done that for the last sort of five years. So this was real different, but I've always wanted to do a zombie based LARP, LARPy thing. Like always wanted to do that. And, uh, but mainly in the sense of doing it in a fantasy setting, which would have been real cool, like a zombie apocalypse in a, in a fantasy setting. But, you know, that, it, it, that that's never really happened or been able to happen. But this has been, this has been full on. Obviously it was set during modern day. It was a crisis and an epidemic and stuff. I'm not going to sort of talk too massively about it because I know that uh, Singularity Josh is wanting to do a video slash podcast type esque thing on his channel at some point, probably recording it tonight uh, with Josh and Minty Lamb and myself, and we're all just going to be sort of talking about it, about the system, and about what we liked and everything like that. And possibly a few more people might be joining and don't know yet, but that'll be on Josh's channel. So when that happens, I mean, go go to his channel and subscribe to it so then you'll know. But when that happens, I'll let you guys know via the social medias. But yes, so um, I'm not going to go massively too depth into it. But what I am going to say is that I found it really hard to get in the mood for it. Like get my keen on, as it were. And like really get in the mindset of this lot like I found it really difficult to create a character as well which was ridiculous like normally I don't have a problem with that sort of thing especially when it comes to fantasy LARP or stuff like that I find it really easy to, to think of a concept but I suppose it's because like fantasy is my jam like that's like just it, it's second nature to me I, I, I want to live in Middle Earth so badly and it just transpires into everything so yeah, but you know, it was it was it was difficult to do. But like once I was there, it was easy. I, I knew obviously I would enjoy it. it well, that wasn't going to be an issue. 
but uh, it was just difficult to get into the mindset. But, you know, that day when Josh and I were going, that was like awesome and I started getting really hyped and then we got there and set up everything and then stuff started happening and it, it was amazing. It was real cool, really good, really enjoyable and can't wait for the next event which will probably be sometime next year because I think it's like a one one year event type thing. But yeah, no, it's awesome. Real good. So had an awesome weekend, zombie LARPing and then sadly I sort of came home and that week or last week that essay that I had to do was due in on the Thursday just gone so and I only had really sort of Monday Monday was like my only free day to really write this everything every other well and then Tuesday evening as well because as of Tuesday I started working sort of full days again for, for, the, for like up until Saturday just gone so five days and yeah, so that that was that was like Monday, had to do it. I did majority of that essay and then Tuesday evening sort of finished it off. Wednesday I couldn't do anything because I went to go see The Offspring live, which was amazing. So good. I went to see that with Nick, who joined us at the very beginning of the Undead Gaming cast. He was on the podcast. Uh, fairly regularly for, for when it's when it first started and uh, hopefully hopefully you'll be back soon Nick I want you to come back I want you to be on the podcast when, we, when you've got some free time dude we, we you need to come back and do that with us because we miss you so yes so with, with Nick and a few of our other friends uh, Dave Martin uh, another Nick and Nick's boss as well came along which was fun but no that was an awesome gig the, 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 they played everything I wanted them to play it was proper nostalgia filled punk rock show it was amazing it was at Brixton Academy as well which is the first time I've been to Brixton Academy and that's a really awesome venue the sound quality there is amazing it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be but it's a really sick venue really cool and yeah it was just such an enjoyable evening I was covered in sweat and beer I didn't drink a lot, I only had like one one beer, but as you sort of like, we, we where we were, we sort of made our own little mosh pit, and we were like, going mental, and obviously people had alcohol, and I'm pretty sure at one point I headbutted some woman's pint of lager, which went all over me, because I came home, and uh, Sam was still, still up, well, it's just me and Sam currently in the house, but he was up, and he was like, dude, you smell... And I was like, oh, of what? And he was sort of like, well, you sort of smell of sweat and alcohol. And I was like, yeah, yeah. So I was going to jump in the shower like then and there because I, I literally stunk. I was like drenched with sweat and alcohol. But it was such a good evening, such a good night. And then Thursday, my essay was due in. So I had to get up like extremely early because I had to have, I had to physically hand it in, which makes me think if, if I was not in the town that my university is if i didn't live here what would i have done what if i lived where i used to live i'd have had to travel down just to hand it into my uni it's a bit stupid anyway so I, I i we don't have a printer so i had to go to the library at my university print that business off and then that was it like hand it in then go to work for a full day that was hectic as hell oh dear dear oh dear so yeah and i've just been really really sort of tired since hence why there's been sort of no I didn't make any content which really sucks plus also you were meant to get the, the podcast last week that didn't happen not because of me I'm not gonna I, I'm totally not to blame for this this is Josh's fault go blame him hashtag Josh's fault because he he didn't make the little segment I'd, I'd edited the podcast and I thought oh man we, we've got the, the little intermissional segment that I've started to add to the podcast and that he was meant to do it and he didn't do it and he so yeah blame him blame him it's always fault so we're waiting on that and so you'll probably get the podcast this week at some point probably towards the end of the week I guess I don't know midweek end week end probably end week let's be honest so no I don't know well, hmm, I, don't, I don't know you'll get it at some point you'll get it at some point anyway so that would be like a a late Thursday, August, August podcast, which we recorded right at the beginning of August, which is hilarious. But anyway, so yes, that that will be coming this week. Finally, after like you having not had a podcast for ages, for at least two months. So apologies for that, but that's coming. And 
Yes, so this week I'm working again full time pretty much up until Thursday when I disappear and go to my fantasy lock with Josh and our awesome friends Nathan and Katie. We're going to meet up with them and have an awesome another weekend of LARPing, which is sick. So looking forward to it. It's going to be a massive game for our faction. I'll probably talk about that in another vlog after it's happened or maybe do a, a roundup with Josh on his channel. I don't know because he likes to do, he wants to do LARPy roundups. So I think go to his channel for that sort of thing. But I probably will talk about it some, in, in some some form it will be spoken about but that's that's to come in the week after that so the week after the lot i'm like a lot freer with my time which is awesome i've been working a lot less and will have more free time to actually do stuff with my life i i really i'm really like on a drive to once once i've got that time to to make content and do content get back into the live streams which will probably happen next week, maybe next week, Thursday. I don't know what date that's going to be. I think it's the 10th. Next week, Thursday the 10th, I think, possibly. I'll, I'll start back with the live stream schedule that I said I would be doing months back. So that's the Thursdays and the Saturdays. Oh, sorry, the Sundays. Not the Saturdays, Saturn, the Sundays, right? So next, probably next the 10th of September, um, Thursday, I will probably be doing a live stream between starting between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. GMT so check that business out and I also want to finish my damn book you don't understand how long I've been trying to read Brisinger which is like the third book in the inheritance cycle by Christopher Paolini started that book ages ago I want to finish it god damn I want to move on to another book as well that I want to read I want to start reading the Witcher books the uh, the source material for the game so that's driven driven I'm driven I want to do stuff so yes as for all this content though no, no promises I'm not gonna promise you all this business and then not not deliver because that's happened too much in recent months so that's just the plan that's what I want to do it's what I'd like to do provided my tiredness doesn't kill me and my my schedule doesn't betray me so yeah how are you how's it going let me know in the comments i'd like to know what's going on in your life are you busy are you larping are you doing stuff i don't know let me know anyway guys thanks for listening to me talk about my shit that'd be a weird episode of a vlog wouldn't it if i actually talked about my poo what is going on in this video no idea anyway i'm rob the other game <laughs> it's gone downhill it's gone downhill I will catch you next time. Bye-bye. Yes, sir.